Dr. Carlos Munoz Ferrada, a great Chilean astronomer as well as a seismologist and scientist, was investigating the destroyer Nibiru for many years. Carlos Munoz Ferrada began to investigate Nibiru in 1940, that is, 43 years before the famous article on the planet Nibiru that appeared in a famous American newspaper in 1983, highly controversial due to his astonishing statements about astronomy. He gave an interview almost 50 years ago about the mysterious planet comet that travels through space. The popularity of this Chilean astronomer and scientist grew due to an interview he gave in Concepcion, where he revealed that the country would be shaken by a huge earthquake on January 24. 1939 at 11.30 p.m., reported in the newspaper El Sur de Concepcion five days in advance, but many accused him of being a liar and a speculator. However, the earthquake did occur. For 18 seconds, Chile shook and suffered the most destructive earthquake that could have been imagined. The great quake caused a catastrophe in five towns in the southern part of Chile, which killed 40,000 people. A town shaken by what happened and watching how in a few seconds everything was devastated. In the memory of those survivors was the memory of that man who was ignored since he had reported it a few days before. With an original science of geodynamics, this great genius and scientist throughout his career was outstanding in applying the laws of modern-day astronomy. And we can say that he was ahead of his time. Through his calculations and studies, he succeeded in prophesying many earthquakes, volcanic eruptions and, above all, climatic variations in many places on the planet. In addition to all this, he discovered many comets and planets by calculating their trajectories, mass, brightness, color, space coordinates, and orbital times with extraordinary precision before being observed by the world's great telescopes. At 90 years old and with a career of 59 years, Carlos Munoz Ferrada caused a great controversy worldwide for his statements about an unknown planet slash comet. He carried out an interesting investigation and tracking of the planet Nibiru, on which he included a great variety of calculations where he managed to establish the trajectory and orbit of this mysterious object. Its elliptical orbit was like that of a comet, but its mass was proportional to that of a planet. Ferrada qualified it as a planet-slash-comet and claimed that it did not comply with the established laws of physics. According to his calculations, the path taken by this unusual object is between our sun and a mysterious dark sun located 32 trillion kilometers away. And he may be referring to the brown dwarf star known as Nemesis, we must remember that binary systems are more frequent in the universe than single stars. In fact, more and more astronomers think that our solar system has another sun, which we have not yet managed to discover. Ferrada affirmed that said object will be able to be seen by the whole world and will bring with it many catastrophic effects. In addition, he stated at the time that Nibiru would not go unnoticed since the whole world would see it and there would be a lot of confusion on Earth, and therefore it would be given countless interpretations. He added that everyone should save themselves however they could, and that the consequences on our planet will be as terrifying as what we have been disclosing for months on our channel, Extraordinary Affirmations. The claims made by this old-school Chilean astronomer are quite similar to those made by much more technological scientists. Ferrada assured that this planet-slash-comet is approaching Earth charged with cosmic energy and that it will pass 14 million kilometers from Earth. Upon entering our solar system, it will be visible to the naked eye and will be photographed. Their arrival will cause geophysical and human change, bringing destruction and change.